live the dream today. Over the last few years, a lot of people have tried to live the dream with John DeLorean. For many of them, the dream became a nightmare. John DeLorean, international intrigue. $17 million missing, the cocaine deal that landed him in jail. It was a sickening sight for those who knew him, and a shocking sight for those who didn't. Watch Eyewitness News tonight at 6 for a special report. John DeLorean, the real story. New York Nightlife, 7.30 tonight. My name, oh, uh, Cameron, David Cameron, Counter Espionage uh, Agency. Now what do you want from me? You know, actually, we did have an appointment. We have had an appointment for a long time now, you and I. I don't know what you're talking about. A computer? Ah, oh, how interesting. Yes, I have noticed that uh, more and more businesses are finding ways to use computers these days. Why not yours, too, mm -hmm. Mr. Devereux? Would you kindly tell me what you want? I've come to play a game of chess with you. I think you've already made the opening moves. Oh, no. No, no, the opening moves were made a long time ago, Mr. Devereux. We're in the end game now. Now, I notice you have a uh, chess disc in the drive. Yeah. Ah, well, would you be kind enough to open that trap drawer and uh, take out the diary you'll find inside, please? What diary? The diary of the late Jefferson Brown. You'll find it in the right-hand top drawer, if I'm not mistaken. I can assure you that you are. God. Ah, thank you. And now have a seat, please, Mr. Devereaux. I beg your pardon. Have a seat. We're going to play a game of chess. And the first move is, ah, uh, pawn to queen four. I'd like to know how that diary got into the desk. Well, the CEA would like to know who's going to win the chess game, the uh, diary or the computer. So if you would, uh, pawn to queen four, Mr. Devereaux. Are you saying that that diary contains a chess game? Yes, here, see for yourself. It's the uh, mysterious code of Jefferson Brown, nothing more than chess notations. And now, Mr. Devereaux, if you would, please, pawn to queen four. I don't understand people like you. Don't you have any loyalties? Yes, but they're usually temporary. The highest bidder, right? Close enough. Ian said that you had integrity. Whatever you said you'd do, you'd do. Your husband was right. I said I'd purchase the phone book for him. But I he, did. he never received it. Totally beyond my control. We were expecting a phone call. So now you work for Cameron, a foreign spy. And I don't mean the kind of person that just does things for money like my husband. He pays money, Mrs. Devereaux. That's all that matters to me. I could pay you money. Could I buy your loyalty? <laughs> Only one loyalty at a time, Mrs. Devereaux. That's my only rule in life. Just one at a time. But you know what's gonna happen. He's gonna take the diary away from Ian. Your husband doesn't even know it's there. But what about when he finds out? I mean, he's not gonna let him leave without a fight. And now, knight to queen four. Please, Mr. Devereaux. I wish to God you'd tell me what we're doing playing a game of chess against the computer. You and I, Mr. Devereaux, don't worry. You play your part, the computer will play its part, and who knows, when we get to the end of the game, perhaps there'll be a big prize for us. Edge of Night is brought to you by Pampers. America's mothers trust their babies to Pampers dryness. And by Mountain Grown Folgers. Mountain Grown Coffee, the richest kind. Something's been missing from today's automatic drip coffee makers. Now, it's here. Introducing delicious new Folgers automatic drip coffee. This new grind is Folgers' latest advance for today's coffee makers. You see, today's machines grew so fast 
that the wrong coffee grind can leave flavor behind. New Folgers automatic drip is specially ground. Really lets Folgers rich mountain grown flavor come through fast. Delicious. And Folgers is a coffee recommended by Mr. Coffee. So don't miss out on Folgers mountain grown flavor from today's coffee makers. Get new Folgers automatic drip coffee. Neither rain nor snow nor clothes will keep me from delivering this remarkable new diaper. New fitted Pampers with Stay Dry Gathers. Pampers are fitted? Terrific. Now they help protect your baby from wetness right down to his toes. Pampers' new Stay Dry Gathers mean a drier baby on the outside. And they still have the cushion quilted lining? Yep, that helps keep baby dry on the inside. That's wetness protection right down to his toes. New fitted Pampers at a Pampers price. A Pampers price? Great. New fitted Pampers help protect your baby against wetness right down to his toes. I could use some wetness protection right now. Gunther. Yes, sir? What are you doing slamming the door like that? This isn't your home, remember? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Whitney. I, I'm just a little steamed, that's all. Yeah, well, you keep slamming doors like that, Gunther, and you'll find yourself coming in the back entrance. Yes, like I'm yes, very sorry, Mr. Whitney. It's just that I've had a very bad night. Oh. Tonight was the night that you were going to see that lady that you had proposed to. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I did. I went right down to that restaurant. I told her that I needed an answer right away. I and... take it you didn't get the answer you would expect. I just don't understand it, Mr. Whitney. I mean, look at me. I am more man than she's met in her whole life. Sometimes less is more. Oh, well, don't get me wrong. I know she wanted to say yes. I know she did. But somebody beat me to the punch. That, that whip lawyer, Cliff Nelson, they actually asked her to marry him. I mean, can you imagine that? Well, you knew that they were an item, Gunther. You told me that yourself. Well, yeah, I mean, knew she was going out with him, but I, I didn't figure that uh, she was really serious about him. I mean, you should have seen that ring, little dinky ring. A ring that uh, got it out of a popcorn box. Yeah, well, there's no accounting for taste, I imagine. Well, at least I know now uh, why she acted the way she did when I proposed to her. I, I mean, her mouth fell open, I, you know, just like I told you. And, and, uh, and then I, I know what she was thinking. She was thinking that, here I am, engaged to Cliff Nelson. I could have had Gunther. Yeah, the poor kid must be heartbroken, huh? Yeah. I'll tell you, Mr. Whitney, maybe I ought to buy Nelson a one-way ticket out of town. What if he doesn't want to go out of town, Gus? Well, maybe I'll just convince him a little, huh? Spencer! I've been looking for you all day. Where you been? Running. I've been uh, busy all day. All right, uh, Gunther, why don't you go cool off someplace? I'd like to talk to you, Spencer. Yes, sir. Excuse me, huh? Sir, you got Nelson. Yeah, well, this is Gunther Wagner. Uh, listen, I want to, I got something to talk with you about, but... Oh, uh, is it pertaining to a case? Uh, yeah, I think you might be able to say that. I'm coming over to your office right now. Well, here it is, Mr. Devereaux, the last move of the game. I know what my move would be if this was my game. Oh, yes? The only logical piece to move is the queen. Well, that's exactly what the diary says, Mr. Devereaux, so go on. Make your move. Checkmate. Well, perhaps we'll, we'll win our prize now. Hmm? Good God. Look familiar, Mr. Devereaux? But it's a list of... It's a list of names, apparently. 
have no idea what they mean. <laughs> oh, really, Mr. Devereaux? Come on. Let's not play games any longer. The game is over. We don't have to watch our moves now. You know very well what that list is. We've been looking for it for years. Sought it like the Holy Grail. Well, here it is, Mr. Devereaux. Right under your nose all this time. I don't believe it. Patricia, of course. Yes, Patricia, your ex-wife. Of course, she assumed that it was nothing more than a piece of software. Unlike this. Oh, now, you don't want to do that, Mr. Devereaux. You do recall your own words, Mr. Cameron. The piece of plastic in the computer is my holy grail. It's been my obsession for the last three years. There's very little I wouldn't do to keep it. I'm certain that's true. However, I believe there is one thing you value even more, Mr. Devereaux. <laughs> uh, what do you mean by that? Your wife? Are you trying to threaten me, Mr. Cameron? At this very moment, Raven is with a certain friend of mine who has very explicit instructions, Mr. Devereaux. I do think you should give me that gun and uh, remove the disc from the computer. How do I know you aren't bluffing? A uh, very logical question, and one which I am prepared to answer if I may use your phone. All right. This is your good friend and associate. Yes. Put her on. Hello? Hello, Ian. Raven. Oh, where are you? I don't know. Some some deserted place. Listen, you wouldn't believe what kind of What are you up to, Cameron? What the hell have you done with my wife? Nothing for the moment. It should be released the moment I return with the diary and the disc, Mr. Devereaux. So, are you ready to cooperate now? Mrs. Pauls asked people how we could improve fish fillets. Use a larger piece of fish. Less breading. <laughs> Fewer calories. Introducing Mrs. Paul's lighted natural fish fillets. They're twice as thick as ordinary fillets and have 40% less breading. They're under 300 calories and they're microwavable. They're everything you've ever wanted in a fish fillet. You could give them away. Well, almost everything. New lighted natural fish fillets from Mrs. Paul's. by Gloria Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, a rich, expressive fragrance that reveals to the world just how splendid you are. Vanderbilt, let it release the splendor of you, Vanderbilt. There must be something you can do, Spencer. There must be some sort of a grace clause in these contracts. You can You'll get out. have to talk to your lawyers, Sky. They never suggested anything like that. All the sales were final, just like you asked. Is everything sold? Everything? Including the plant in West Virginia. Remember that you had me shut it down? Well, after that, the bids started pouring in. They were all rather low, but I did accept one. That was a damn stupid idea, Spencer. Tyler, you ordered me to liquidate. You were very clear about it. You said you wanted cash, and you needed it rather fast. What about WMON? Can we get out of that? You know that Geraldine's check arrived this morning. She is your aunt, however. I suppose you could con her into letting you buy it back. Yeah, well, she was never very fond about buying it in the first place. Maybe, maybe we should give her a call. Oh, talk no, no, no. You do your own talking. I fulfilled my part of this bargain. Except for the Whitney Theater, which nobody seems to want, your entire fortune has been turned into hard cash. Now, don't tell me that isn't what you wanted. It was, but uh, things have changed. What things? Oh, excuse me. I'm sure you'd rather not explain that to a mere lackey. I was in trouble, Spencer, for a while there. It looked as if I might lose something far more precious to me than my money. What could be more important to you than your money? My freedom. What? It seemed for a while as if it was entirely likely that I might spend the rest of my life in prison. Are you serious? Of course.
course I'm serious. Would I have done what I have done? Would I have taken the losses that I've taken if I wasn't serious? Well, then what was the point of... Wait a minute, I was right, wasn't I? You were going to leave. If it was necessary, yeah, I was going to run. That's why I wanted money. I wanted the mobility that money would give me. But all of that's changed now? That's right. It's changed. I'm free. I'm exonerated. The nightmare is over. Well, that's just too bad, in a way. What do you mean, it's too bad? I mean that I went ahead with your decision to convert everything into high-quality diamonds. They're to be delivered here tomorrow morning. Well, cancel. There's no way I can do that, Skylar. And it's really a shame for a man in your position. It would have been a wonderful solution. The entire Whitney fortune in a case about this large. Well, all right, then. As soon as they arrive, make arrangements to sell them again. But don't take any more losses. I've taken too many as it stands now. The diamonds are worth 60 million, Sky. I wouldn't cry in my beard. I'm not going to cry in my beard, Spencer. I'm going to get on with enjoying my life for a change. Oh, you going to go back into business? The hell with business. It's going to enjoy all those millions, Spencer. Why? Why do you ask? Are you uh, anxious to get the job back? Why? I wouldn't work for you again for the entire 60 million, Sky. Yeah, well, you're still on the payroll, Spencer, so just take care of this last transaction, and then you can get the hell out of my house. Right. One last transaction. Great cake, hon. I had to have second. <laughs> you had third, but who's counting? Here's another the dish. The dishes are done, and so are the pans. But Dawn can handle that. You're going to wash this after greasy pans? <laughs> no, you are, with Dawn. Hey, nothing feels greasy. The water? My hands? Nothing. And my plate looks as good as the first. No kidding. Dawn did some job on the chocolate cake. <laughs> so did you. Dawn takes grease out of your way. I love beautiful hair. Making it beautiful is the art of my profession. Uh -huh. Yet there are women who perm beautifully at home with lilt. You see, the key is in the roll-up. A bad roll-up shows frizzes. A good roll-up, beautiful curls. Only lilt has these amazing sponges. They grip better, roll up better for more beautiful hair. Lilt sponges help you roll up so professionally. It even makes me a little jealous. Lilt's professional touch, beautiful. Good old pie. Duncan Hines cake rises so high. New Deluxe Yellow rises to new heights of moistness. This is the day of new taste. Deluxious. This is the day of new moistness. Super creamy batter for higher moistness. New heights of moistness. Now America's rising to a new taste. Rising high to a new taste. Moisture. Duncan Hines Deluxe. Deluxe. Duncan Hines Deluxe. Rises to new heights of moistness. Duncan Hines Deluxe. 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 Be right there. I could better save this to posterity. Ah, Mr. Wagner, I've been waiting. Make this way. Uh, you lawyer types uh, sure work late, don't you? No matter. You never drove Sky Whitney anywhere late at night? <laughs> That's right. I'm a little like a lawyer. I take people for rides. But don't waste my time with you, Gunther. I have a murder trial in a couple days. That's right. It's going to really be something. Sorry I'm not going to be there, but I don't want to hear people saying nasty things about poor old Nora. Seems to me you said a lot of nasty things about her. That's right. I shouldn't have. You're not supposed to say bad things about dead people. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say a lot of bad things about her. Yeah, this is easier if you just blurt it out. The confession? Come on. Huh? <laughs> Gunther, I know why you called me. I know why you're here. Your conscience is bothering you. You know Nicole Cavanaugh is going out for a murder charge. You won't see an innocent woman go to prison. No, you got this all wrong. Right, I knew you'd come around eventually. You know, the thing that amazed me, though, is that you had almost a perfect alibi. How did you get that witness to corroborate the fact that you were at the bus station? Now, that was brilliant. Look, I want to talk about right, your girlfriend. Question, want... How were you able to get into the studio, strangle Nora, and get out without anybody seeing you? Hey! Enough about that already, okay? Hey, take it easy, will you? Look, Gunther, you can tell me. I mean, what's the use of being so clever if the rest of the world doesn't know? Listen, it? wimp. I didn't have anything to do with it, and you know it. How are you able to fool Calvin and the chief of police? Uh, why don't you just talk to the cop on the beat, okay? He saw me leaving Nora when she went to the studio. You're boring. Listen, that's not what I came here to talk about. I want to know if you're serious about marrying Mitzi. Mitzi? That's right. Well, what about it? Who said anything about marrying her? 
Because she told me. She even wore the engagement ring, if that's what you want to call it. What I want to know is, how many boxes of popcorn did you have to eat before you found it? Well, let me get this straight, guys. Now, wait a minute. I just want to know, did you mean it? Or were you just uh, fooling around? Wait a minute. Did Mitzi tell you this? Gunther, did you propose to Mitzi? Yeah, that's right. I did. Yeah, she would have said yes, except she was wearing that crummy little ring. I, ch I know. She felt like obligated well she was obligated she is i mean i mean i asked her first why should she take another offer well why not if she got a better one because she wouldn't go back on her word mitzi's not like that not like some people i know yeah yeah i guess you're right hey eh? i guess i came a little bit too late huh but i want to tell you something you better not break that little girl's heart you hear me who me yes you because if you break her heart i'm gonna break your head and that's a promise Gosh, I just got myself engaged. Thank you, Mr. Devereaux, for this and uh, for that. Yes, thank you very much. Well, this has been very, very entertaining. I want to thank you for one other thing. A wonderful chase, Mr. Devereaux. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Mr. Oh, Cameron. yes, very much. Very much so. Of course, you didn't even know I was chasing you, but then that's one of the oddities of our business, isn't it? <laughs> now I believe our business is concluded. Now, wait a minute. Before you go, aren't you going to arrest me? Oh, well, just uh, consider yourself fortunate. Hmm? Uh, fortunate? I think it's more like peculiar. You find a vital, highly sensitive document in my house probably the most important document in the intelligence arsenal of the United States. And you're prepared to let me go scot-free. I'm beginning to have my doubts about you, Mr. Cameron. Doubts about your loyalties. The loyalties? Well, if you're wondering about my loyalties, then here's something else for you to ponder, Mr. Devereaux. The reason that I'm here right now and leaving with this is your wife. What the hell do you mean by that? Raven has been cooperating with the CEA for the past seven months. You're a liar, Cameron. Ask her when she comes home. What do you mean by that? Tell me before you leave this house. Oh, now, please don't be foolish, Mr. Devil. Remember who has the gun, hmm? What do you mean by cooperation? I mean she married you to gain your confidence so that I, we, could gain this. Do you want your family to have taco shells made from fresh tasting real corn or processed corn flour? Ortega shells are made from real corn. That's because Ortega has corn authenticity. Corn authenticity because Ortega's made authentically from real corn kernels. So every delicious bite has a fresh corn taste. So crunch into an Ortega taco. This is your family the fresh taste of real corn. The fresh taste of Ortega corn authenticity. The outdoor life can give you problem hair. That's why I use Wella Balsam shampoo. Wella Balsam takes care of problem hair like no other shampoo I've tried. Wella Balsam's exclusive oil-free formula eliminates dryness and flyaways. Laboratory tests against these fine shampoos prove Wella Balsam is superior in taking care of split ends. Try Wella Balsam shampoo and Wella Balsam conditioner. You'll turn problem hair into beautiful hair. They're all back. TV's favorite families on The Family Feud. Join Richard Dawson as he welcomes your old friends from Batman, Gilligan's Island, Lost in Space, and Hawaiian Eye. Will Batman do it? The next two weeks on The Feud. And please don't be too hard on Raven, Mr. Devereaux. She's really quite a remarkable woman. She'd never do such a thing. I would have known. Her friend Nancy Carr is, uh... Also quite admirable. Runs a close second in my admiration. Yeah, she gave me quite a battle. Almost destroyed my scheme several times. What scheme? But Raven likes you very much, Mr. Devereaux. Oh, yes. She refused to cooperate at first, but I managed to motivate her. Why are you telling me all these damnable lies? Oh, she fought me tooth and nail. 
But once I finally convinced her, she rose to the occasion. I might say she even relished the task. I still think you're lying, Cameron. Oh? Well, well, don't think, Mr. Devereaux. Just consider yourself fortunate to be a free man. Now, wait. When do I see Raven? She'll be released on my return. You have the phone book, Cameron. Now, order her release. Please don't be foolish, Mr. Devereaux. I said order her release, Cameron, or you may be forced to use that gun. You still care that much about her after what I've just told you? Make the phone call, Cameron. Damn it. Very well. Step back, please. <laughs> Yes. This is your good friend and associate. Is everything all right? No, I was going to ask you the same question. Oh, everything is perfect on my end. You may release Mrs. Devereaux just as we discussed in Plan A. Plan A? If everything went yes, all right. That's right. Just do as I say. Yes. Yes, of course. What's going on? Apparently, it's plan A. We Dutch have been famous for our beautiful tulips since the 16th century. But they are fragile and need special care. Just like my skin. That's why I use your pond's cold cream. I found even after washing with soap and water, my face was not thoroughly clean. The pawns remove dirt and makeup left behind. See? It's a cleansing secret of women around the world. Beautiful skin created by pawns. Oh, 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 ice cold milk and an Oreo cookie. They forever go together with a classic combination. When a dark, delicious cookie meets an icy cold sensation like the one and only creamy, crunchy chocolate. O-R-E-O -E Keeps your milk from getting lonely Oh, oh, oh The one and only Oreo and Oreo with double stuff This is David Hartman. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, the latest news from Lebanon. We'll meet the horse that's least favored to win the Kentucky Derby. Also, Kermit the Frog updates us on Miss Piggy, plus Harry Belafonte on Good Morning America. Tonight, discover Hollywood oddities on Ripley's Believe It or Not. Then, if Iris moves into the attic, will Henry go through the roof? It's too close for comfort. After, B. Arthur's back. And there's room at the end for laughter on Amanda's. Saturday, be there for the 109th Run for the Roses with ABC Sports live exclusive coverage of the Kentucky Derby. eating machine. But how dangerous are they? To find out, I went for a swim with one. Plus, should students with poor grades be forced out of sports competition? And good news, some of those products for your hair really do work. I'll tell you about them on 2020 tonight. Come join in the celebration. It's the greatest anniversary sale in Levitt's 73-year history. Everything is on sale at remarkable price reductions now at Levitt's. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ernie Anastas, and coming up today on the 5 o'clock Eyewitness News, the search for a missing boy out on Long Island is over. We'll have that story and this report. Burns has written a book. That's not the point. The point is, listen to him tell jokes. Details coming up.
Also, what is best to feed your dog? And Katie reviews the new Dan Aykroyd movie, Detroit Doctor or Dr. Detroit. Have your choice and more at 5 o'clock. See you then. <laughs> Here's Bruce Jenner for Tropicana Pure Sight for those who knew him.